Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I thought I would bring you along today while I worked on a few projects. I like to take October to really deep clean and organize my kitchen because in November we always do a big Thanksgiving holiday and I like to have everything ready to go. So today I'm going to take you along while I declutter um, this corner and this cabinet. So this is my, this is my spice cabinet. This is my spice overflow, obviously, and then this is my kitchen gadget corner. I cook a lot, so I, I use a lot of different um, utensils, but there's probably some in there that I don't need and I need to get rid of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all three of these and I'm going to dump them on the island and I'm going to organize them. And then I'll bring you back and I'll show you what ones I'm going to get rid of. And then I'm going to take a few and put them in a shoebox because those are the ones that I use um, periodically but not all the time to cook with. Those can go in my extend pantry. I don't need those by the stove all the time. And then I'm going to have some that hopefully, knock on wood, will get donated. So we're going to do that first and then we'll go and do the spice cabinet second. So come along with me as I declutter my kitchen hotspot. I've decided that I don't use on a regular basis or I have two or three of them some of them multiples so I'm going to put these in my extended pantry I'm not going to get rid of them yet because I do a lot of cooking at Thanksgiving and Christmas and stuff that I could possibly need these just not right now so and I have space in there so it's fine so I divide everything into three piles I've got things for my small crock my medium crock and my large crock I have about 30 utensils left and I got 30 utensils that I don't use on a regular basis that I'm going to put away so if I don't use these within the next year, then I'll go ahead and donate them. So let's go ahead and get these put in the crocs. and got rid of the basket so I took them down by half I'm pretty impressed with that like I said I didn't get rid of all of them because I like to cook a lot it's just that I don't need every one of them on a daily basis so I'm gonna put them in my extended pantry and I can get them out when I need them at Thanksgiving or if we have a big dinner or whatever so anyway so now we're moving on to the spice cabinet and I may have a spice problem because this is all my spices that I have open. This doesn't include the ones that I have as backups in the pan and extend pantry. So, are you ready? This is what we're gonna deal with next. Da, 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 da. Yeah. 
So my goal is to go through here today and I know I've got doubles of some of my spices. I also know that I have them, some of them that I need to get rid of. So anyway, I'm going to take all these down and then I'm going to put them on the bar and I'm going to bring you along so you can see how I organize my spice pantry. <music> of my spices that were either old and outdated or clumped together or just weren't ones that I ever were, was going to use again. So I'm pretty proud of it. I was able to get everything back on the shelves. Everything is wiped down and clean and ready to go for into the Thanksgiving Christmas holiday. So thanks for watching. Bye.